We are building something called cloud defined storage. This is a very technical team. We'll get into a lot of technical depth, but let's just set the stage uh, in terms of who we are. We are a number of alumni from the 3PAR. The company was founded in, in November of 2018. We are pre-GA, uh, doing a number of evaluation with a number of customers. We have uh, development offices in Belfast, uh, headquartered in Silicon Valley and offices in Seattle. Uh, folks from 3PAR and Cloud, uh, part of the company is from Snap. So let's, let's talk about what we're building. So we're building what we call cloud-defined storage. And in a nutshell, it's on-premises server-based enterprise cost of storage, but it doesn't consume any of the server CPU and memory resources. And this is all defined and managed through the cloud. The building block elements of the solution is a cloud-enabled AI-assisted secure control plane, which we call Nebula On. And it is essentially controlling a services processing unit. It's a PCIe-based uh, card that is sitting inside the server. And you take these servers and group them into application servers like a VMware cluster or a Corac. And that's what the solution is made. So let's talk about the technology uh, in detail. I'm going to have Josh and uh, come on board and talk about the hardware a little bit. Uh, but before we get to Josh, um, the reason we really built the company is to talk, you know, it, it really was a combination of a number of conversations I was having with the CIOs. And a set of consistent themes that started to actually develop over time. And one of the CIOs uh, was, was really kind of cogent and, and had a very uh, good way of describing his problem. He really wanted to simplify his environment by eliminating the three-tier architecture in his data center, uh, both in his data center and on the edge part of his, his infrastructure. It was just too complex, it was expensive. Um, but he, you know, secondarily, this is the part that actually, as Cloud was developing, he really wanted to make his infrastructure to be as self-service as possible. He really wanted you know, application storage for application owners. So those were kind of the two you know, building blocks or, or two architectural underpinnings of the company that, that you know, caused for us to think through and start Nebula on for. Okay, great. Thank you, CMAC. Um, yeah, so who, who is cloud-defined storage for? Our, our ideal customer um, is either infrastructure managers or the application owners that, that first and foremost have low latency mission critical workloads that they have, have determined need to stay on prem for a, a variety of reasons, service level, cost, governance reasons. Um, ideally, these are customers who've looked into software defined storage or ACI technologies um, but have kind of figured out, hey, the service level or other uh, workload restrictions force continued use of external storage arrays. And there's $27 billion worth of that going on out there. Um, the the um, ideal customer for us also has, you know, tens, hundreds, even thousands of servers. Um, so they've got a lot that they're trying to manage with, with the resources they have. And in fact, um, our solution is particularly ideal for folks who um, are spread across multiple sites, uh, a lot of edge locations have been affected by M&A. That cloud-based control plane, which you're going to hear about, you know, really solves a lot of the uh, operational overhead issues that come with that um, very distributed kind of enterprise. Example customers for us, um, there's kind of kind of two groups. There's uh, cloud service providers. They are uh, providing services for their customers today uh, based on their own infrastructure. And they're always looking for ways to, you know, deliver services more cost effectively and to increase the value that they provide to customers. And I'll give you a great for instance, which is um, a cloud service provider sometimes delivers equipment to their customer on-prem. So it's a mix of you know, service provider cloud and customer on-prem. Today, the cloud service provider tools uh, are uh, only really helpful in that, in that service provider cloud. Um, the support they can provide their customer for any on-prem gear is basically limited to break fix. 
what we're giving those guys an opportunity to do is to stretch their orchestration uh, onto the customer, you know, private cloud and uh, orchestrate those assets just as they're orchestrating their own uh, cloud assets and give the customer great value no matter where their infrastructure is being deployed. The other um, uh, customer example is, you know, just mid to large enterprises. I think we all get that, especially right now, the economic climate has uh, a lot of belt tightening going on. Um, organizations are under pressure to reduce costs. The costs of the, you know, external storage array based storage infrastructure are high. Everyone agrees with that. And the operational um, burden associated with that is is equally high and what we're what we're providing here is an opportunity for customers to reduce their storage infrastructure costs by up to half and offload a lot of the operational overhead we think uh, delivering you know kind of a 4x productivity to operation staffs based on that that cloud-based um, um, uh, cloud-based approach to management. Now, how do customers actually get this? And this is super important because um, a, a lot of the, the uh, um, customers we're talking to, it's a real challenge for them to bring in uh, new vendors through procurement and legal, et cetera. So we've opted for what we think is a, is a pretty cool model. Cloud-defined storage uh, is just going to come as a server option for our customers' preferred server vendor. Um, our founding partners are today HPE and Supermicro. We've got uh, another partner um, that we're working with as well. You'll hear, hear more in the presentation. Um, the, the SPU and the cloud-based subscription uh, are simply server options that come with your, your favorite server. Uh, from your server vendor. Uh, pricing, all the commercial interaction is with the server vendor. Fulfillment through the server vendor. Even your support agreement directly from the server vendor. And of course, you know, Nebulon is there with our server vendor partners um, um, uh, in the areas of, of support and, and the like. But we are acting on their behalf. And so, you know, the customer relationship really is uh, with their strategic server vendor, and they love that. Um, that's a, a big benefit of, of the approach that we're taking here. Okay, so that's a bit about, uh, about uh, you know, our customer and uh, our, our way to market. Uh, with that, I'll, I'll turn things over to Josh, who will dive into um, the first part of our technology. Josh? <laughs> 